We believe, and so suggested a few years ago, that the action of alcohol on these chronic alcoholics is a manifestation of an allergy, that the phenomenon of craving is limited to this class and never occurs in the average temperate drinker. So, let's turn that into a question. Did you experience a craving for alcohol when you put alcohol in your body? Now, notice he says, and never occurs in the average temperate drinker. So, let's say, out of ten times that I drink, I do not experience craving eight times. Am I an alcoholic? According to Dr. Silkworth, I am. You know why? Because he said it never. He doesn't say rarely. He doesn't say seldom. He says never occurs in the average temperate drinker. You see what separates me from the non-alcoholic? It has nothing to do with how many times I've been to jail. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with one thing and only one thing. It's called the phenomenon of craving. I've had the opportunity of going out for business dinners with colleagues who drink and sitting there and watching them drink and they'll have one or two by the time they get the second drink they push it away and they say something like I better stop I'm starting to feel it <laughs> well let's go then come on let's get it on <laughs> I cannot relate to that I've been asked that question multiple times through the years by, by colleagues to say Paul I don't understand it what separates you from me I don't have to go into this big old diatribe about, you know, what I experienced in the 12 years and so on and so forth. And I found a sponsor who had big books of sobriety and blah, 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 blah. I don't have to go into that. I tell them what phenomenon of craving. What do you mean? I put alcohol in my body. I crave more alcohol. And I can't stop. That's how I know that I'm an alcoholic. Chapter 4. We Agnostics. In the preceding chapters, you have learned something of alcoholism. We hope we have made clear the distinction between the alcoholic and the non-alcoholic. If, when you honestly want to, you find you cannot quit entirely, or if, when drinking, you have little control over the amount you take, you are probably alcoholic. If that be the case, you may be suffering from an illness which only a spiritual experience will conquer.